Hello LEGO fans, Jarve Bricks here. So like I've been saying, I'm going to do a complete overview of my city for 2020. So I don't know really know where to start, so I think I'll start with some of my older stuff. So somewhere around here, and I'll go through this section, uh, working my way around here, and up over the bridge, and then I'll come back on that side. Um, I'm going to have to hold the camera so in some instances it might be a bit wobbly uh, but where I can I will use my tripod. So here we go. So first thing this is my Arkham Asylum. When I first um, made this city it was for my kids and um, well it wasn't when I first did it but Batman uh, Lego Batman movie had come out and my daughter wanted to make it into Gotham City. So I got the um, the brown uh, Gotham City, excuse me, Arkham Asylum set and bought a few extra brown bricks and made an Arkham City. And this is my second design of it. My first design was uh, very much a bit more ornate it was an island in the middle of the harbour uh, over there um, but I took it out because it just looked a little bit too uh, it, it was almost hiding the whole of the water area so I got rid of it and made this not a hundred percent convinced of it. I'd like another level I think um, but I ran out of bricks so that's what it is uh, it's all detailed on the inside uh, so you've got the gateway at the bottom with the tower there and that's in the corner there's a converted Christmas tree and yeah that's it really so moving round uh, these were a few facades that I originally made um, just to fill in the gaps and it's still nothing isn't even on the back you can still see the windows and I bought um, two sets of the Lego Friends Hospital. Uh, you, you can see the colour that I, I used that to make that apartment block. Um, but I did have that as my hospital for a bit. But when the Lego City Hospital came out, um, I made that my hospital. So I changed this into an apartment block. So you know, I'll come around to my hospital in a bit. That's one of my most recent facades. Again, it's only, what, six bricks in depth. I was just playing with um, making some kind of old fashioned apartment building, office building, I don't know. It was just to fill the gap in there. So again, that's no back on it. Eventually I will, once I've got filled in all the gaps and they all are modulars, I will come back to these and make them into modulars themselves. But for now, it's just to fill in the gaps. I haven't got too many facades anymore. They are, I've, I've built up most of them. I've got rid of some, so it's uh, getting there. I think there's only these three left, if I remember correctly. I might have another one somewhere. And then we'll see as we come around. So coming to the third facade, uh, this building here, that again, um, it only goes it as deep as the chimneys. And go straight down there's nothing there so this was using um, elements from uh, the what was it called the Doctor Strange building uh, my mind has gone blank whatever that was called so I got elements from that and I made two of these facades and that's the one where I think is somewhere else in this city but I can't think where I put it as I am speaking I'm looking over my shoulder and I can't even see it either, so... Oh, I found it. There you go, we'll come back to that in a minute. Um, oh, I may as well do it now. So, coming round... Yeah, there's the other uh, part of it. So, using the elements from... Whatever Doctor, Doctor Strange's house is called... Is that one and the previous one. And, as you can see, it's just a facade. Uh, no back to it. He's even got a garden, but he's got no finished house. That's strange. Anyway going back over here and I just wanted to try something new with the the roof it was supposed to 
make it look a little bit battered some tiles that had slipped and, and whatnot um, so yeah anyway that's the design then um, we come over to my bad guys hideout oh again 90% of these are got all details on the insides um, so if you want to see this bad guys hideout here if you go to the um, mock playlist you'll be able to find that and you'll be able to see how the ground floor just looks like a normal lounge um, but then there's a secret ladder to the next floor where the uh, kingpin of crime is the godfather sitting in his armchair counting his money and then there's a secret ladder up to the loft area where he stores all his money it's a bit like a bank vault but uh, yeah go and have a look at it and check it out uh, so that's my bad guys hideout looks like a normal house but something sinister is lurking behind those doors you think that these guys here give it away a little bit don't they in the prison issue outfit then my supermarket um, so I'm just trying to hold a light because it's these buildings that are uh, this side cast a shadow against these so uh, though I can see them with my eyes through the camera it, it kind of looks a little bit darker so I'm just holding a bit of a strip light um, yeah so this building uh, that was original friends supermarket set uh, got a few years back which Emmy wanted uh, she asked me to make it into into the city so I did for a bit and it was just a normal thing and she could play with it but after she started to get bored um, oh, oh excuse me that's, that's Harper knocking the camera over Harper we're trying to look at the supermarket good girl she's a kitten she's not trained so Yes, this supermarket, I made it into, um, uh, it's supposed to be look like an historic building. So at the top, it's a bit more historic looking and then they've just refurbished the bottom to make it look like a, a supermarket. And I'll come over to the pizza place in a minute. Hopper, leave the poor whale alone. A new bridge you haven't seen it before so then coming back this way well I'm stood over here you've got the garage um, which is almost a, a, a exact copy so I'm just trying to fire my light in a way that you can see it better um, all I did is put a back on it to make it into a bit of a modular set um, nothing else has changed I put it here because it's quite low so when I'm looking at it from the other side um, I can still see the buildings on this side and I think it's in the way so nothing special there this is my um, cinema Harper you in the way again Harper move good girl uh, this is my cinema uh, I, have, I have I own or have most of the modular expert sets um, but none of them are in the original form all of them have been dismantled and changed I should say this at the beginning all of my Lego sets they've come from other Lego sets but nothing in my city is original set everything I like to make my own design and although I made this from the um, uh, palace cinema the corner set and I made it into my own version I do want to change it because it just looks like I've taken the corner cinema and use it all exactly the same bricks to make a flat one and that's exactly what I've done so I don't feel like it's much of my design because all I've, I haven't done much to it and the bank as well you know that was a corner bank I made it into that and it looks exactly the same just not in a corner so I wanted to demolish that and make it into something else, put my own stamp on it, but I have just uh, missed a building there, haven't I? Um, which comes over to Al's Barber Shop. Now I'm going to try and put my camera down, stop my, give my arm a rest. So Al's Barber Shop, uh, you know, I made this um, from 
the um, detective's office set, I had two of them. Uh, so I just wanted to make Al's barber uh, into you know, what, what you can see there. Um, really pleased with the way it turns out. And although you know it, it's Al Barber's, it looks like Al's Barber's, I could have changed the color of the bricks at the top to just try and differentiate it. But I really like the color of it. So I kept it that as it was, and I, I'm, I'm happy with that. Um, and then next to it, you've got the bookshop. Tried to make a, a book sign, which um, I wanted books, but it was just too long. So book is okay. Um, if you can see inside, there are loads of bookshelves and things like that. Um, using the design from the uh, doctor's, ah, Sanctum Sanctorium. Yes, got it. Uh, you see a few nice bookshelf designs in that set. So I used them to go inside the bookshop. Um, the bookshop, first and second floor, have no details on the inside, it's just the ground. However, Al's Barbershop, now that does have details um, on each floor. So again, go and check that out um, if you want to see that. Um, I'll, I'll, there's another, there's Moe's ice cream shop next to that, but I think I will um, tackle that from the other side. So coming over here, I've just moved the skyscraper now because it was in my way and I kept hitting my back on it. So there's my town hall. As you can see, it is from the town hall uh, modular expert set. Let me just try and budge this a little bit. Don't break, don't break. No, it's gonna slip. Ah. Oh. oh, it broke. Oh, there we go. So yes, um, there's the town hall. Uh, I wanted to have it as a corner. Uh, it's uh, using the same bricks. It's all the same colors. You know, it took me an absolute age to get this archway embedded in it, in the building on a corner, but eventually did it. It's um, it's not quite as secure as I would like. I don't think it would pass any um, Lego tests for the stability. Um, but as long as you don't touch it, it's fine. Um, inside, all detailed again. Lord Business has got his little office and he's got a little hidden room where he spies on everyone within the city. Uh, again, go to the mocks on the um, playlist to see that in more detail and if we just come around so this as i said before that's the um, building that is from sanctum sanctorium and um, so this one is stud labs and um, i'm going to come over this from the other angle because i can't quite see what i'm looking at one moment Okay, so carrying on from this side on Stud Labs, uh, I had a load of that scarlet coloured brick. That, uh, I don't remember why I had that colour through something. Um, so I wanted to utilise it. And then uh, when I was in the pick a brick once, I saw all of these scarlet brick bricks. So I got a ton of them, filled a bucket and a half of them and used them to finish off stud labs. Started off with just an, an experiment to, um, and made that uh, badge there, that's a, a badge, a sign. That was a giant stud. And hopefully, that, you think that says labs? So, I don't know. Uh, it might say LA85, but no, it's stud labs. Uh, detailed on the inside, you've got all of the office equipment. And the reason I wanted to make stud labs was I had loads of lab equipment through various um, sets, through you know the the, the uh, Lego Friends Hospital, the Hospital on Lego City, the Dinosaur Jurassic Park sets. They all came with loads of lab equipment, um, so I utilised that uh, in Stud Labs. So there you go. Put the uh, Wayne Enterprise Tower 
back where it should be and I fixed it after breaking it. I think I've weakened it somewhat with holding it with one hand. Um, but yep, there it is. Well, I like that tower because um, it was from the um, uh, Avengers Tower set. I had about three of them to make a bigger Avengers Tower, but uh, there's nothing Avengers in this city. It's all DC related stuff, so I made it Wayne Enterprise. Um, and I didn't want it to look like um, uh, Avengers Tower. So I'm pleased with the way that, that's looked. And there's Bruce Wayne. Um, sipping some wine on his penthouse um, little secret compartments to change into Batman to fly home but again look at the playlists of that building to um, have a look at it in more detail so coming over here this is one of my most recent ones well it's not recent it's that I've just readdressed it and um, so if you can look at the old one or you can look at the new one of that version on both of them they are the same from the front so that is using the um, Parisian restaurant and all of the buildings they, there's not many studs showing other than on the roofs so I just wanted a few studs showing which I've done there um, wanted to get the ground floor looking like it was a old building which is from that section there but then it's had a bit of a refurb on ground floor and it looks a bit more modern which is what hopefully I've achieved all detailed on the inside and if I just go round to the back it is dusty back here because this is next to the chimney so you get a lot of dust coming off as you can see on top of there um, I can't get my camera any closer unless I turn it upside down oh, and then I can there you go so coming over to the tool shop I just wanted to make a tool shop because I like to make a tool sign for it and um, again details on the insides uh, nothing much to it it's just trying to playing with designs really it's quite an old building that I did same with the Apple shop I bought an iPhone came with a load of stickers um well two so I'll use one of them and i wanted to make it look modern and a bit like an apple shop does but again it's over an historic building so whether i've achieved that i do not know and then um coming over here to the pet shop uh, again all detailed on the inside so these were using the windows from the um corner petrol station I think it was called uh, so I used those windows from that and a few elements from it um, the designs there around the bottom they are from um, one of the buildings that you got with assembly square and then using these um, green two by one flats on the front uh, with some leftovers from the fishing village so it's a big hodgepodge of details and the roof there i think that was from the corner garage as well um so yeah and that's a, a, a bit more of a larger building with a, an apartment at the top S coming around over here but with me for a second coming around over here um so from al's barbershop we have suds uh, what's it called soap and suds um, just use the same element from that and just made it into um, its own little shop and apartment um, there and then coming around here this is from assembly square that I've made this um, corner modular so it's the um, the bigger of the buildings which use a cafe which is uh, the same as what it is here bear with me there's some shadows being cast so I will just put light on oh, and I'll take some mini figs out with the light as well there you go so uh, using the same color scheme and um, just made that so quite pleased with the way that turned out and again this was from assembly square as well uh, changed a few things changed the color 
of it slightly um, but it's quite similar to the building uh, that was in assembly square and then my fire station so this was part of the corner garage you can see by the color scheme at the top half and um, the idea was that I wanted to make it as an old fire station hence the sign 1891 from um, the town hall set um, but it's had a modern refurbishment and that's the new section using uh, 2019's fire station set uh, to make this complete set and it's all detailed on the inside it's they are linked together so you can walk from one section to the other um, check out the modular set on the YouTube playlist if you want to see more details on that and then we go over to oh, what was this one called Hang on, I can see behind me the box but the name is covered so I can't see but it was from come over here that building from last year so just made it into a little bit bigger I was really struggling because I haven't got any more of that yellow brick than what I got with the set so the sides are actually brown or, uh, or grey or something um, and I just used all the bricks I could to make it as big as tall as the front using that colour I wanted to use it because I've got, got, got any of that colour so I wanted a different colour in the city and you know that's what I made it's not that dissimilar from the building that was in the um, original one and then we come over to the jewelry shop the jewelry shop was from the Lego Batman um, jewelry shop heist where Catwoman is nicking stuff as she does and I just wanted to make it into a modular building which I did and it was only one floor high and then um, I think last year I made it as I gave it an extra floor um, which I think adds to the character of the building and improves it as well just being that little bit taller and there's Catwoman um, looking through the window although the jewelry's on the ground floor so she's not doing a very good job and again from the same set we have this um, modern apartment tower block uh, with a pet shop at the bottom and the apartments going up and at the top there's a lego city a mini model of a lego city so go and check that out in the building um i went with the red right red white shutters there because i only bought one of these sets and the rest is made up of my own stuff i didn't have enough of the red only or i didn't have enough of the white only so i just made it red white red white just to so you know so i had enough to finish it and but as i did it i thought you know i quite like that so i left it here on this side we've got um it was from the uh, jurassic world something mansion um and it was it was another it was it covered a whole 32 by 32 base plate so i just made it a little bit smaller i felt like it was too big it didn't look right within the building the ratio of that size comparison to the others it was just a bit too big so i made it a little bit smaller and um, does the same thing you've got labs on the top and on the ground you've got some it's a bit more like a natural history museum i suppose with labs at the top and um, so yeah that's that and then my police station um, i did have this police station um, it was one of my first mocks and it was very much a different shape if you look on the videos again you'll see the old one and um, but my daughter got it down to play with it and dropped it uh, so I took the opportunity to put it on a 32 by 32 base plate because the previous one was on a cut base plate to fit a space in the way I had it laid out previous and which meant I couldn't have didn't have many options to move it around so 
uh, I thought I would rebuild it and take the opportunity to put it on a 32 by 32 base plate. There's a 16 by 32 base plate with a little um, area for the trucks to get around the back, but at a push I can put the, the build in there if I, if I want to and uh, find another way. So um, really pleased with the way it looks and, and the way it turned out. I actually do prefer my older building, which was a corner uh, police station, but um, you know, I'm happy with that. And it's going to stay like that for now. Okay, so I just need to reposition the camera. So give me one moment. Okay, so from this side, uh, we have the Grand Hotel. Now this was from the Lego Friends uh, Grand Hotel, um, but I use the design of the building it was the um, Grand Emporium shopping center. Uh, so I used elements from those two buildings, from that modular and that Lego Friends set to make this Grand Hotel. And I think it looks very grand. It helps with all of the gold in it. I think the color scheme that came with the Lego Friends set is good. I put a little bit less purple in there, but um, the grand um, hotel sign and what came with it was purple so I just wanted a little bit of purple in it just to have that theme going throughout the building but otherwise it's mostly gold and white and of course it's all detailed on the inside as well now you've just got the Justice League meeting together on the roof there the flash was late but it's okay um, and then moving over to the bank so like I said before it was the old bank and it was a corner set and I wanted to make it into well what it is there um, but I will be dismantling that in the future and make it into a building which doesn't resemble the old modular bank whatsoever hopefully um, but we'll see how that turns out and then while I'm in this street and uh, what I couldn't show you before is Moe's ice cream I'm stretching quite a bit now um, where are we Moe's ice cream. So it's just an open ice cream shop. Let me get the light into it. And it's just a simple building uh, just to fill up the space. But it, it, I think it turned out really well. I like the sign for Moe's. I can't see if I'm pointing at it anymore. Yeah, I am. Um, thought it turned out quite well. So that will be staying for the foreseeable future. And then um, this is the music shop. So I was, I was looking for a bit more of a, again, modern design at the floor, which I think looks good with the windows. Um, and here it just looks a bit more historic. Um, but I was just toying and playing with a few things. I actually don't think, I think it looks a bit too ornate as a building, but for now it's gonna be staying. And then we have this little corner modular here um, I wanted to make it look a little bit more battered so I think achieved that looks a bit old and dated and falling apart um, that's just a, a cake shop using the from the uh, assembly square set you've got the wedding cake and I can't see what's over there but some of the cake related stuff and then the fountain from assembly squares is here as well and just instead of ch change the water slightly so that is from um, Iron Man's blaster I think it was um, to make it look like a fountain and a little mini corner cafe here this is quite an old set that I made um, I think it was from the bike shop from 2015 if memory serves maybe 16 um, and so I just made that into a cafe um, the bike shop is elsewhere which I'll get to in a moment and then we have our hospital and I wanted to make it different it's from the um, Lego City set from last year I've got the crane and diggers on the side on top of that building there which will not be staying um, and I think I think it's nice it looks unique what I do regret though is that it's on a cut plate. No, it's not a cut plate, what is it? I don't know, it's on, it's on an, um, I think it's, it's a 32 by 32 base plate with a 16 next to it. 
um, and that was supposed to be the drop off point but no it can't be 32 by 32 because there's a gap over there so it must be the cut plate so that's on a cut plate so um, it to get it to fit into a previous space um, I regret doing that now because it's limited of where I can put it I've tried moving it around different areas and I, I think this is the best space where the drop-off point is on the corner because from a distance it um, opens it up and it means that I can see the buildings more at the back because the buildings don't go right into the corner so previously if I had a big building there um, it would come up like that so I won't be able to see anything that side um, so I like the choice of putting it there it just opened it up all a little bit um, and I'm moving over so from the Sanctum Sanctorium set this is Spider-Man's apartment uh, which just made into a big pizza shop Pepe's Pizza with the um, some seats and more eating area on the first floor um, Oh, and the second floor as it looks i thought i'd put an apartment there but no no that's just a big pizza place uh, with an alley down the side uh, i've got, got a little stall on the side here of the british museum now this is from the what year would that be 2013 2012 um, lego museum set where you got the helicopter uh, with a light on the side and it came with a um, did, it, did it come with a getaway fan as well I think it did but well, yeah they're stealing the art so made that into a modular set my original that was only one ground floor and then I just made it into a bigger floor all detailed on the inside um, using some of the Egyptian um, artifacts and things that you got in the Scooby-Doo set and some other ones and she at the front there is from last year's series 19 i think it was of the um, the minifigures okay so i'm going to reposition the camera once more so two sets here next to the police station is a little cafe originally it was supposed to be where the museum was uh, which i moved i do need to readdress that as I just wasn't not happy with it. It's, I felt rushed making it, I think, and I just I think it just looks a little bit basic in comparison to some of my other buildings, so that could be going soon. This is um, one of my earlier modulars. It was the um, it was the grocery store creator set, and it was the bike shop set, and they've just um, mixed them together, and uh, it's got a little newspaper stand I'm struggling to get too close to this one without having the camera upside down so I'm zooming in a little bit which loses the picture quality um, but I just wanted a bit more of a uh, shopping area as well so lots of uh, busy things going on that little tan area it did have a bit of a market store which is the one uh, that is now over there next to the museum and uh, I just need to sort that out, either make a new one, um, but it, because before it was just blocking the area from getting from uh, this section over here. So I'll be doing something with that, just not figured out what yet. So I'm going to move over to the bridge now. Okay, so this is my latest creation. It was my last video that I put on um, when the kids were playing up here over the Christmas era they completely destroyed the previous one and um, so I just wanted to fix it but it had an, a dip between the pillars because the pillars was one there and there was one there and the gap was too big between the two so I put them a bit closer and then I just tried to make it look a little bit more like the London Bridge bridge sort of design uh, using the same bits and extra bits that I uh, added to it so I'm really pleased with the way that has turned out and um, so yeah if you want to see a bit more detail about the bridge again check out the video on it and then um, we have a lighthouse uh, wants it to make it look like it's a little island, rocky island so 
up the jetty there, going up. Uh, again, details on the inside. Supergirl on the top. And then the railway bridge. I was just trying to make it look a little bit more like uh, some of the bridges you would find uh, around Yorkshire with the arches um, as it is. And then coming over to the fishing village. So um, a fishing village, fishing shop, whatever that was called, um, made that a bit bigger and to suit the area as well. So it's got a little stairs down to the water and um, lots of supplies being sold. And because I got a little bit of a market area outside of that building, I wanted to have a market stall in the street in front of it. So you've got a few little stands and um, Lego friends, hot dog stand and a few other things as well. And then um, last year's shrimp shop I made uh, using that, uh, I don't know what color that is. It's not tan, is it? Whatever that color is. Um, got a load of them off the pick a brick wall. So I was able to make it continue the height of it. Um, wanted to have the a similar feel to the um, alleyway as the Spider-Man Sanctum Sanctorium did at the side. So just put some um, rubbish on the floor and some, uh, I, think, I think what they're called, whatever those steps are called. And I just used the same sign and shrimp for that. And then coming over here, again, I wanted to continue sort of the market theme. Uh, three small buildings, lots going on. Got a carpet shop. The bridge is interfering with my arm, so I should apologize about the shaking. Um, cafe at the back there, and another fish and crab shop. I'm just gonna switch arms. And then um, here we've got the pool room and detective's office. That's the one that came with um, Al's barber shop um, because I bought two of them. I had a few extra bricks so I could make that into a building itself. And just like the um, brick bank and the palace cinema, I feel that it looks a little bit too much like the original. Uh, so again, I will be addressing that, dismantling it and putting my own stamp on it, even more so than I have and I've just got a little bit of a bike park outside the front as well. Um, just the roof has come off there. There we go. So this is the other element of the corner garage. So we've got Joe's garage at the bottom and the ground floor area is very similar um, to, let me get a light so you see underneath, very similar to the um, one uh, the, the original mock um, just to, took it from being a corner to being a flat one um, but then at the top floor I used elements from the assembly square and um, you've got that semi half circle thing on the assembly square and um, using those um, studs and those little Chin uh, Chinese cheese wedges um, there just to give it a bit of a unique design um, so pl really pleased with the way uh, that came out we have a space here which was where the um, diner was which I've dismantled but I was struggling to make it into anything unique so I've bagged it all and put it all away in the boxes and I will come and address that once I uh, have a eureka moment here I was just toying with a futuristic looking design something like off Blade Runner um, don't really like it that much but it fills the gap and coming round we've got the cafe a very basic building nothing on the ground floor and then the clock shop we like this design I think it's quite unique and um, took me ages to get that 
at the top I think is a bit too fancy for a building it would just be never be used and lots all sorts of clocks being sold in there okay so I've just um, changed my camera angle um, that one has not got any details on the inside at all it's not a facade it is a, a building that is all enclosed on all sides I just never got around to putting any details on the inside and that will be something I will be addressing really love the blue color there with the brickwork uh, really pleased with the way that turned out and once I that, that, I don't know there's, there's no other um, mock video on this building because there's nothing on the inside and when I've done that uh, I will get round to it here we've got the um, deli which originally from a Lego creator set um, made into a bigger building hate the design of that I like the ground floor but the top floor I think looks rubbish and I will be completely destroying that um, and making it a little bit better hopefully so here we've got ace chemicals and again I wanted to have um, I wanted to have it looking like an old building here uh, which has had an extension and had a modern side put to it so hopefully um, I've achieved that uh, using elements found in the uh, Batman Lego Batman movie sets you know lots of ace chemicals sides of it let me just see if we can get something off the inside from here yeah, there you go he's happy isn't he um, so have a look again on the inside to see that in more details and then Q&M Express so that was an, um, originally a non Lego built well, still is a non Lego building uh, which I just added in, and made it into a, a building itself um, it was as it is there really it was very small um, but it was quite unique so I thought I'd put that into it again another non Lego building um, so let me see if I have to flip the camera over for this so that was from again a different company and they'd um, they were making command and conquer red alert buildings and that was the Russian factory uh, which I've just utilized it and made it into it was supposed to be make it look like a factory so uh, that's not detailed on the inside either um, but it's got a ton of little ornate pieces everywhere um, to make it look like a factory which I think looked quite cool and that's why I wanted to get it um, and so there you go and then we come over to the docks uh, and here we've got just a building I wanted to make that as basic building as I could which uh, I think I have um, buildings like this are built for function rather than look good in places like this so that's what I wanted the office there at the top I think I've done the details on the inside I can't remember a uh, little bit of a, a tower which comes from the train station um, which the train is behind it and then I've got the main dock building here uh, with a few trucks and some pallets in Ooh, let me just get up off the floor um, with the train coming in here and these uh, um, containers being docked Bruce has just joined us in the loft and the crane which I have just realized when tidying my loft is down the side there so I'll put that back in a moment and here you've got the jetty uh, coming over uh, with the the ship in the harbor and this is a, a little uh, uh, it's meant to be an old jetty um, and underneath the top there you've got penguin uh, selling uh, some illegal stuff to bad guys and that's it that is my complete walkthrough hope you enjoyed it uh, hope it's not too long hope you made it to the end um, so let us know what you think about it let us know if you want more videos like this although I'm probably going to run out of content 
which I already have because I've just done it all. That is all I have. Um, so I'm going to be building uh, a few things now going forward. So as I was saying in the video, you've got an idea of what it is I want to do. So thank you for watching. Give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe and I will be back again shortly. Goodbye.